Welcome to the Cargill Regen Connect program. Soil is powerful. If we treat our soil correctly, we can build resilience on our farms, reduce emissions in our supply chains, and enhance sustainability across our food systems. Our MRV program has the tools to help you unlock the profit potential on your farm while building resilience for the future. MRV stands for Measurement, Reporting, and Verification. It's a process in which we verify your sustainable practices, measure your outcomes, and help ensure you're compensated fairly for your efforts. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps for enrolling in our MRV program, hosted by Regrow. Let's get started on your regenerative farming journey. The first step is registration. If you're returning to the platform, feel free to use your existing login to easily get started. If you're new, head over to cargillregenconnect.com. From there, click on the Explore Your Carbon Potential button. Enter in all the information requested, such as address, phone number, and Cargill ID. After completing registration, you'll be sent an email to confirm your email address. Simply click on Verify Email Address. The next and final step is logging in as a new user. Upon logging into your program, you'll be directed to the producer homepage. Here, you can see the program or programs you're currently enrolled in. From there, you'll be guided to the Program Steps screen, where you'll have the opportunity to quickly and easily enroll your fields in a regenerative farming program. The next step is Fields and Boundaries. In this step, you'll be able to import, draw, or upload your fields and select which fields you'd like to explore for program enrollment. You're able to import your fields three different ways. You can import them from your farm management system, such as John Deere Operations Center or Climate Field View, upload your own boundaries saved in KML or shapefile format, or you can draw or select your fields from the map. Here, we're demonstrating how to select your fields from a specific location. Type your location into the search bar and the map will show all detected fields. From there, select individual fields from the map. Lastly, you can also draw your fields by hand. Simply select the outline of your field and connect to the first vertice when done. Once you've made your selection, click Next. Here, you'll be asked to assign fields to a farm. Any fields that have been uploaded will be remembered, so you can access them easily next time you log in. Once you've named your farm and fields, you can upload them to the program. The last part of this step is to select the fields on which you intend to explore implementing new or expanded regenerative practices during the next growing season. We'll collect data on your crops, cover crops, and tillage practices. We use a remote sensing technology called Optus to gather much of this data, which helps to streamline the process for you. As we fill in your crop history, gaps in information or low confidence data will be highlighted. You will either need to fill in the information, or if the table cell has a check mark next to it, you can simply click the check mark to confirm that the information is correct. If it is not, you can use the drop down menu to edit. We use information about your management practices from the past five years to calculate a baseline so you can have the most accurate assessment of your environmental impact. Once you've completed this information, press Next, Assign Practices. Now, it's time to assign new or expanded practices to your fields. Under the Assign Practices step, you'll see a list of your fields. Click on the green plus sign next to each field to see and choose from the practices you're eligible for based on your crop history. If there's a red alert sign next to your field rather than a green plus sign, that means your field is ineligible to participate. Click on the alert sign to see the reason why your field is ineligible and remove the field to proceed. Once you've chosen a practice, cover crops, reduced tillage, no tillage, or a combination for all of your fields, click Next, View Outcomes to confirm your choices. When you start this step, you'll be asked to confirm that you're ready for us to run our calculations. While outcomes are being calculated, you will not be able to make any edits to your fields. This process should only take a few minutes. Once outcomes are calculated, you'll be able to view your estimated outcome in tons of carbon sequestered, as well as the associated payment. Once you've fully reviewed this estimate, click Sign Contract to move on to your producer agreement, which we'll discuss in the next step. If you decide to edit your fields or change assigned practices, you'll be able to do so and rerun the outcomes calculation. We ask that you finalize all fields and practice changes before moving on to your producer agreement. Once you confirm your new practices and are comfortable with the estimated outcome, our platform will generate a producer agreement for you to review and sign. Once you sign this agreement, all steps in this process will become view only. 
This allows you to review your choices at a later date without affecting your plan or outcomes. Your home dashboard is a great place to keep track of which phase you're in for any of our programs and when you'll need to return for the next phase. We'll also send you an email notification when it's time to return. One final thing. We'd like to make sure you know that help is always nearby. At any time, you can click the question mark button to contact our support team via phone or email, or visit our resources page. To learn more about Regrow, visit www.regrow.ag, or visit cargillregenconnect.com to explore your carbon potential today.